In this video, I want to talk about voltage divider circuits. But before I do that, let's talk a little bit about units. Now we know from Ohm's law that current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. And normally the voltage will be in volts. So one volt divided by one ohm gives us one amp of current flow. Now, one amp is actually quite a large current in most of electronics. So, so in this video, I wanted to use k ohms instead of ohms. So that will give us current in terms of one volt divided by 1,000 ohms, 1 k ohm, equals 1 milliamp. Now, a milliamp is a thousandth of an amp, but it is a unit that's much more useful in electronics. So let's now talk about voltage dividers. Let's presume I have a battery. And this battery is a 4-volt battery. And I want to divide this voltage into smaller units. And I can do that by adding two series resistors. Let's call this R1 and R2. Let's presume that R1 is 2k ohms, or 2,000 ohms, and R2 is also 2,000 ohms. Let's ask ourselves, what is the voltage between the two resistors at this point? Now, we know from previous videos that resistors in series add. So the total resistance, the equivalent resistance of R1 and R2 is the sum of this 2K resistor and this other 2K resistor so, so the equivalent resistance is 4,000 ohms. So we can calculate the current in this circuit. Current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So we have 4 volts divided by the equivalent resistor, which is 4K ohms equals 1 milliamp of current flow. Now each resistor R1 and R2 have one milliamp of current. So we can calculate the voltage across R1 and R2. For example, the voltage across V1, voltage across R1, is equal to one milliamp times two K ohms, or two volts. So we have divided this 4 volts into 2 volts across this resistor. And since the same current flows through the other resistor, and it's of equal value, I have 2 volts here. 2 volts, 2 volts. So if the resistors in the circuit are equal, the voltage divides equally among the two resistors. Okay. So I can say that this point in the circuit is, let's call that zero volts. Now this point midway between these resistors is two volts. And the voltage at the top of R1 is the battery voltage, or four volts. Now there's a law in electronics called the Kirchhoff's voltage law. And in a previous video, we talked about Kirchhoff's current law. But what Kirchhoff's voltage law says that if we add up the voltages going around the circuit loop, that the net voltage around the loop is zero. For example, if we start at this terminal with zero volts, and we go up R2, we come to two volts. And there's another drop across R1 that's equal to two volts. So if we go up to the top, we have four volts. 
and then we go come to the left back down through the battery and we we come down four volts so at the bottom of the circuit here we end up with zero volts going around the loop now let's do a voltage divider circuit where the resistors are not equal let's presume I have a battery across again two resistors let's make the battery voltage again four volts let's make this resistor 3000 ohms and let's keep the math simple and make this resistor 1000 ohms let's ask ourselves what is the voltage between the resistors so we can add up the resistors in this circuit since they're series and get the equivalent resistor which is 4k and 4 volts divided by 4k is 1 milliamp of current 1 milliamp flowing through the resistors so now I can calculate the voltage across the 1k resistor it's simply 1 milliamp times 1k or one volt. The voltage drop across the 3K resistor is again one milliamp times 3K which is equal to three volts. So if I have resistors in this divider circuit that are not equal then the voltage does not divide equally. The bigger resistor drops the bigger voltage and the smaller resistor drops the smaller voltage. If I want to calculate the power in these two resistors, I know that power is equal to current times voltage. In the case of the 3K resistor, I have one milliamp times three volts which is equal to three milliwatts. Now a milliwatt is a thousandth of a watt. If I want to calculate the power dropped across a 1K resistor, that is equal to one milliamp times one volt equals one milliwatt. Let's consider another voltage divider circuit where again we have four volts but we have four resistors four equal resistors each 1k so we can say that the voltage at this point is zero volts we know that again that resistors and series add together so the total equivalent resistor of these four resistors is 4k and four volts divided by 4k is one milliamp so we have one milliamp of current flowing through each resistor. So each resistor drops one volt. So if we look at the voltage at this point, we have one volt. If we look at the voltage at this point, we've gone up a volt, we have two volts. And if we look at here, we have three volts. So we can do some interesting things with this voltage for example we could create a circuit now let's draw a box here that represents the circuit we're going to create and we're going to have two inputs to this circuit we'll call one input a and the other input b so this is input input and i want to have one output from this box that will be either 0 volts, 1 volt, 2 volt, or 3 volts. And this circuit is called a, a DITA, or digital to analog converter. What it does is it takes digital inputs A and B and it converts it to an analog voltage at the output. Now, if I have two inputs and they are digital, so what that means is that the input can either be zero volts or in this case four volts 
So if, if I have both inputs at zero volts, in that case, I want to route the zero volts to my analog output. If I have a high voltage at B, we'll say four volts, and a low voltage at A, I want to route the one volt to my analog output. In another situation, I could have four volts and zero volts input. In that case, I want to route this input to the output. And the final condition I can have is four volts on both inputs. In that case, I want to route three volts to the analog output. So in a future video, we'll determine how to design the circuit. But in this video, I just want to show you the concept that you can take two inputs that have four different conditions and you can tap off four different voltages and send, send each one to an analog output. And that's called, a, again, a digital to analog converter. And this battery is a 4 volt battery. And I want to divide this voltage into smaller units. And I can do that by adding two series resistors. In this video, I want to talk about voltage divider circuits. But before I do that, let's talk a little bit about units. Now we know from Ohm's law that current is equal to, there's actually quite a large current in most of electronics. So, so in this video, I wanted to use K ohms instead of ohms. So that will give us current in terms of one volt divided by 1,000 ohms, 1 K ohm, voltage divided by resistance. And normally, the voltage will be in volts, so 1 volt divided by 1 ohm gives us 1 amp of current flow. Now, 1 amp equals 1 milliamp. Now, a milliamp is a thousandth of an amp, but it's a unit that's much more useful in electronics. So let's now talk about voltage dividers. Let's presume I have a battery. 